Hello, good evening. Welcome along, as Micah would say. What's that thing you do when you welcome everyone in? None of that. <laughs> How about that way? <laughs> Not tonight, Kate. <laughs> OK, well, welcome along, everybody. Good to have you with us. Kate Abdo, Thierry Henry, Jamie Carragher, Micah Richards. Uh, Champions, excuse me, Champions League semi-finals uh, are now clear. Should we take a look at the updated bracket now that the um, quarterfinals both legs have been played? So here is what we have got. Dortmund against PSG on the one side of the bracket. Bayern versus Real Madrid on the other side of the bracket. It could be either an all-German final. Oh, it's going to be an Mbappe be. final, yeah. isn't it? Hey. All... That all-German final was at Wembley. In Dortmund, Bayern Munich, yes. 2013. Mm -hmm. There it was. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. That Good is. job, I saved you there. Saved Brackets me from what? Buster, that is. Well, you didn't know, did you? Didn't know what? That, that, was, that final was played before at Wembley. Nobody and asked me the question. No, but you were the host. You were talking about an all-German final. A nice little bit of yeah, information just, for the viewers. I was, I was about to continue my sentence, but then you rudely interrupted me, so I didn't Ooh. get the chance to do that. Uh, anyway, <laughs> <laughs> where are we? Uh, Thierry, how do you feel? Good. You do? Yeah. It's a bit of a sombre night for Premier League football, would you say? Uh, Arsenal uh, out, Manchester City out. Yeah, but you know it's about winning it when you have Real Madrid on your way. Uh, obviously, Man City managed to do it uh, last year, the year before. On the way, Real Madrid beat every single team from the Premier League. So it, it is what it is. You know, I think for me, it's not so much of a Premier League thing or not. So as you can see, you have two German teams there, uh, a French team and, and obviously a Spanish team. But um, yeah, I, I think at the end of the day, on the on on the night, and I know. Uh, Man City had the ball and they were pushing and this and that, but the way they played defensively around Madrid is just astonishing. And I know, yes, they had watched on a target that was the goal, but City didn't have a lot, just that crossbar and that was about it. it... And the goal, obviously, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It's weird, is it, Jamie? Because I, I guess it's a reminder that in European football or on a stage as big as this, as big as the Champions League, form isn't always what necessarily matters, certainly if you look at the, the Bayern-Arsenal result. No, and I've, I've said this before plenty of times. The team who wins the Champions League is not necessarily the best team in Europe. And I think Real Madrid, a few occasions, we'll see what they do this season. I think in the past, they've won, I think they beat Liverpool in the final we had a couple of years ago. I, I, they find a way to win. So I think they've played Manchester City now, I don't know if it's three times in three years or three times in four years. They've beaten them twice and City have been the better team. But Real Madrid, there is something special about that club that have a hold on the opposition, a mentality, a belief they are the best team in Europe. And they beat Manchester City here on a penalty shooter when the last shot was on target was in the 12th minute of the game, the goal. A couple of years before, they beat them with two goals in the last minute. That was just to take it to extra time. So they just, there's something about this competition at Real Madrid that puts them on a completely different level to anybody else. Because anybody watching that game and didn't know the names of the teams, you'd say it was an absolute mismatch. And this team here are one of the luckiest teams you've seen to get through. But we know it's Real Madrid and that's what they do. Does it feel more bitter to go out, Micah, when you believe that you were the better side? No, I, I think Jamie summed it up perfectly. I, I think you can't always win it. Man City, of, of course, were the dominant team, but it matters at the end, doesn't it? That is the difference. Um, it went to penalties, it's 50-50. On the night, Real Madrid got the win. Like Thierry said, they defended so well. Um, I think Man City would just be frustrated within themselves to dominate the game like that and not put the chances away. When you've got players like Haaland on the field, who we've talked about so highly, not managing to make a proper impact in the game. Foden at times, isolated on that right, went into the middle, the second half, looked a lot better. Kevin De Bruyne got the goal as well. I thought Carl Walker, as I mentioned before the game, did really well with Vinicius. But that man on his screen there, Bellingham, he didn't stop running all night. He is a, a proper, proper talent. And there's no bitterness from me, you know, at the end of the day. It goes down. What's wrong? <laughs> I don't know why he stopped so talking. Someone just said, shut up a minute, Micah. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I, yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> oh dear. Um, Jude Bellingham, you're talking about him. He scored his penalty. Let's go through some of the key penalties that we saw uh, really make a difference <sighs> in this penalty shootout. Jude Bellingham, confident. Very confident. Thierry mentioned it. Which way he's going to go? He says closed, keepers right. Bernardo Silva miss there. I thought he tried to penetrate at, at the start, but it's just it's bravery from the goalkeepers. Jamie. Really interesting if that had been something you know they spoke about beforehand. But the goalkeeper, as we mentioned before, has got a great record from penalties. Now ten saves, I think, from twenty-six penalties. So he's been the difference. But Edison, fantastic, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And then it finished with that man Rudiger. Thierry, be confident. Well, you know what? It was the best penalty of all. If, mm. if you hit the post and he goes in, there's no way the goalkeeper can, can take that. I don't know if he meant that, but you can't save that. So, you know, it was, it was magnificent. And, and we're talking about the penalties, but, and we talked about Benningham, and we all know that he is, he is that glue to that team. He will, he will link the, the midfield to the two strikers. But Karl Bajal, sorry. You took a yellow straight away in the game. You have to defend the whole night on Grealish. Then Jeremy Doku. What a game. This is why I always say, football, yes, and I love the way City plays. We cannot talk about that. It is outstanding. But there is something called about, something called, sorry, defending. You can also control a game defending well. And Real Madrid, and I know people will say City were the, the, was the best team. Defending is part of the game. They defended ever so well against City. They didn't give them a lot. So... As much as people can say City was the best team, you have to defend also in football, and they did that ever so well. So I think the, 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 the best team, the, t the team that defended well also, went through. What would you say about the performance of Andre Lunin in goal uh, for Real Madrid, save two of the, the penalties, um, the Manchester City penalties? Not a keeper whose name we're hugely familiar with, I think, it, in terms of the way you have been in, in years well, gone well, by with Real well, Madrid keepers. He was probably third choice keeper. And you think Courtois, obviously, he's, uh, he's been out injured. Could argue the best goalkeeper in the world, sitting in the top two or three. Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce his name, but Ariza, Ariza <laughs> Balaga Perfect. is on, the, on loan from Chelsea. He, he's gone in there, he cost a huge fee. He's gone in there and he's replaced them. And I've just told you his record, they had 10 saves and 26 penalties. And he was outstanding. Listen, let's not forget, he made a big mistake in the first leg, early on from Bernardo Silva's free kick. So the personality he showed as well to go away to City, you know, keep them in check, and then basically he'll be the hero now. He'll be all over the, uh, the back pages in Spain.